welcome College of Science graduates, family, and friends to our 2020 virtual graduation ceremony. We recognize the hardships you have faced during this pandemic, and we wish we could be with you in person. We will be celebrating all of our 2020 graduates today, but first, let me share a short video highlighting the College of Science. This is not a sky, it's a window to the universe. These are not mountains, they are a living laboratory. This is not a tree, it's a story about our past. At the University of Arizona, we use science to see things differently. From this place, we discover where we are, who we are, what we never knew was possible. From this place, we expand our knowledge of the human body, knowledge we can use to control cancer, to slow the aging process, to build better, healthier lives. Finding new ways to look and to learn is part of our history, part of this place. Tree Ring Science began here. From this place, we look into the past to understand where our climate has been and where it is going. The mirrors for the Earth's most powerful telescopes are built here. From this place, we explore the cosmos with telescopes and spacecraft. Here, we have a facility like no other to investigate life on Earth. From this place, we study our planet's complex systems, how the water cycle, the carbon cycle, and the energy cycle support life here. In this place, we push the boundaries of science, science that changes perspectives, science that changes lives. From this place, we research the smallest building blocks of matter, the proteins that build cells, the cells that build life, then how life affects landscapes and water and atmosphere. And from our place in the solar system, we leap to the cosmos. We learn how our living planet compares to other planets orbiting other stars. Through science, we come to know, to know our world, to know our universe, to know ourselves. And in knowing, we find solutions. Bigger questions, better answers, bear down. Let me now introduce Elliot Chu, our interim dean and a distinguished professor of physics. Thank you, Rebecca. Welcome College of Science Class of 2020, and thank you to all the family, friends, and faculty and staff who are also joining us today to celebrate our graduates. I would now like to introduce our keynote speaker and alumna, Dr. Laura Stein. Dr. Stein is an assistant professor in the Department of Biology at the University of Oklahoma. Her research spans the interface between animal behavior and the role of plasticity in evolution. In particular, she studies the causes and consequences of behavioral plasticity within and across generations, their influence on evolutionary patterns, and the underlying processes by which organisms integrate information from their genes, parents, and personal experiences. While primarily using fishes to address these questions, her work includes animals ranging from snakes to spiders. Prior to her appointment as a faculty member at Oklahoma in 2019, Dr. Stein was a National Science Foundation postdoctoral fellow at Colorado State University, where she worked on genetic mechanisms underlying behavioral divergence in Trinidadian guppies. In 2015, Dr. Stein earned her PhD in ecology, ethology, and evolution from the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. And prior to that, Dr. Stein earned her Bachelor of Science in Ecology and Evolutionary Biology from the University of Arizona, where she was the outstanding senior for the College of Science class of 2009. Hello, I so wish that I could be there with you in person today. As you can see, I don't have my regalia, but I am doing my best and I am so grateful to be representing the University of Arizona College of Science for the winter 2020 commencement. I am honored to be here speaking to you today and the honor is especially meaningful and to be honest, a little bit surprising to me, given the remarkable accomplishments of so many of my fellow alumni, graduates, and you. You are at the forefront of your scientific disciplines, conducting independent research, publishing and presenting your findings, and devoting your time to improving your campus and public communities. 
I hope that each of you takes the time today to celebrate and recognize all of your accomplishments. And please let me extend my sincerest congratulations to you. I am truly grateful to be counted among you. As I thought over what I wanted to say today, I realized that you really don't need me to tell you that you are the next generation. You have already been through such a hard year that you, know, you are going to go on to solve many of the world's problems and invent new technologies that you and I cannot even imagine right now. You know all of that. What I would really like to do instead is focus on each of you, how science has influenced each of you, and perhaps how science has better helped you to appreciate the world around you. I would like you to, today to reflect and think back to when you first realized your interest in science. For as long as I personally can remember, I have had a passion for and fascination with the natural world. And then, when I got to the University of Arizona, it turned out that when I had spent my childhood chasing around lizards, I could all of a sudden get credit for it in an undergraduate herpetology class. How wonderful to find oneself in a situation where you can indulge your passion, nurture it, and share it with others. And I hope that you have found that in your time here at the University of Arizona. As fellow scientists, I hope that you have a similar passion and that you continue to pursue it and follow it throughout your life. Science can sometimes have a bad reputation for quashing mysteries and stagnating art, but I personally think that cannot be further from the truth. What I learned in my time as an undergraduate at the University of, at the University of Arizona was that science allowed me to engage in a new dimension in wonder and awe at, as Darwin would say, the endless forms most beautiful that allowed me to see the poetry, beauty, and art in just the simple everyday things around me. This is my particular path. Maybe some of you wondered at the night sky when you were small, and now you are pursuing paths in astronomy and physics. Maybe others looked at the way the human body was able to heal itself and thought, I want to be able to do that, and now you are on your way to medical school. Still others might be pushed to stretch and break the limits of human technology. And I am sure there are some of you who haven't found this passion yet and who are still searching. For all of you, your science education at the University of Arizona has allowed you to look at the world critically and poised you to take these next steps. To question assumptions, not take anything for granted or at face value, but also I hope to remain humble, inspire a sense of wonder, appreciation, and amazement that will stick with you for, throughout your life. I know it sounds really cheesy, but I do truly hope that none of you ever lose that passion and that wonder. And finally, I implore you to share this passion with others. Despite what your own personal goals for the future may be, whether they are in science or not, I hope you bring this understanding and appreciation of science to others, what it is and what it isn't. Science is universal, and I believe it should not be restricted to the academic realm, but available to everyone. And so it follows that the ability to concisely and eloquently present scientific findings in a way that is understandable and yet does not diminish the science involved is absolutely crucial to the public enjoyment, awareness, and understanding of science. In our current times, this is especially crystal clear, and you will be on the front lines of communicating this science to the masses. The College of Science has always emphasized and worked on public outreach, and I know that each of you is capable of sharing and bringing what you have learned from your experiences out into the world. I am extremely grateful for the University of Arizona has given me such an incredible opportunity to pursue my passion, and I hope that it has done the same for you. I hope that when you are celebrating all of your achievements, you also celebrate all of those people who helped you get to where you are today. You follow whatever inspires you, and wherever you go from here, good luck and much success. Congratulations, class of 2020 and bear down. Thank you, Laura. It's wonderful to hear from our outstanding seniors from years past. Congratulations as well on your many achievements since your time here as outstanding senior. 
We are also very proud of our Spring 2020 Outstanding Seniors and Recipients of Excellence in Undergraduate Research. You can see their names listed in the program by department. Let me now introduce Brandon Garavaldo, our overall Outstanding Senior for Spring 2020. Brandon graduated in 2017 from Etiwanda High School in Rancho Cucamonga, California. He completed a dual degree this past spring with a Bachelor of Science in Speech, Language and Hearing Sciences, and a Bachelor of Arts in Spanish with an emphasis in Hispanic Linguistics. He is currently a graduate student in the Speech, Language, and Hearing Science Department and is enrolled in the Masters of Speech, Language, Pathology program. He plans to continue his work in better serving underrepresented students by making higher education an accessible achievement and a safer space for all. Thank you, Brandon, for joining us today. Before I begin, I'd like to acknowledge that the University of Arizona, along with the departmental buildings under the College of Science, reside on Tohono O'odham ancestral land, where many continuously live. It was a privilege to have received an education on Tohono O'odham ancestral land. Congratulations, class of 2020. Though this isn't how we expected to celebrate our graduation year, that does not take away from this grand achievement. Take a moment to reflect back on your experiences and the growth that has occurred from when you first stepped foot on the U Arizona campus to this moment. We have all worked incredibly hard and we all deserve our moment before moving on to the next part of our journey. Whether you're continuing on to grad school, taking a gap year, whatever you choose to do, know that it is your choice and you should feel empowered to make decisions you see beneficial for yourself. I wanna take a moment to acknowledge the work of our black scientists, indigenous native scientists, and scientists of color graduating this year. There have been barriers placed in front of you that may have made it difficult to see this day, but I'm here to acknowledge the resilience and strength it took to overcome these obstacles. Though it is far too late, the College of Science Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee was created to begin tackling these obstacles so that more black and indigenous native scientists and scientists of color can begin taking their seats in these fields to continue the work and to continue representing these communities. Once more, congratulations to our graduating BIPOC community in the College of Science. I see your work and I see your worth. Finally, I just wanna say that science is nothing without humanities. I know this because I've graduated with both a degree in the College of Science and a degree in the College of Humanities. Our way of thinking can become depersonalized and analytical. As you continue on, remember to treat the world with humanity. Not only have you gained knowledge in your respective fields, but you've also gained many experiences beyond the classroom walls, those of which have facilitated the growth and transformation of who you are today. These experiences are like paint, and this post-grad world is a new canvas. Take your experiences and paint the world with them. Use them as a guide for yourself and for generations to come. The world is dull, but us, the new generation, are here to bring color back to this painting. You all have what you need and you know how to use it. Once again, congratulations, class of 2020. May you celebrate safely and responsibly. Thank you, Brandon, for those inspiring words. Now we will present the College of Science 2020 graduates by department. A department head or representative will briefly introduce their department. We will then view slides from the department's graduating seniors, master's students, and PhDs. Some of our students composed a message for the audience that you will see below their name and degree. Let me start by introducing the Department of Astronomy and Stewart Observatory. Hello, I'm Buell Januzzi, Director of Stewart Observatory and Head of the Department of Astronomy. Our students and faculty explore the universe together and share what they learn with the entire world. Whether it is making the first image of the event horizon of a black hole or characterizing planets around other stars, our students have excelled at making the most of the opportunities provided by the university. Today, we celebrate all of our graduates from the year 2020. Congratulations to them and to all of their friends and family who have supported them so very well.
chemistry and biochemistry. Hi, I'm Craig Aspinwall, and I'm a professor and the current head of the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. Chemistry and biochemistry focus on the study of matter that makes up the world around us. These are broad fields and accordingly have broad reach and impact. Almost all of the graduating students here today have taken at least one chemistry or biochemistry class in our department. CBC, as we're known, is also one of the oldest departments on campus. The first chemistry labs were taught in the newly constructed old main building back in 1891. Since then, we've grown substantially and we now offer seven different degrees to more than 700 undergraduate and 150 graduate majors. Most of our students are actively engaged in independent research projects on topics that span from bugs to batteries, cancer therapies to catalysts, and magnets to microscopes. These research experiences provide real world hands-on training opportunities that form a cornerstone for their future success. Today, I'm honored to congratulate these outstanding graduates and welcome them to the CBC alumni family made up of over 4,500 members. Would also like to add congratulations to all of the College of Science graduates and say good luck in all your future endeavors. We're proud of all your accomplishments and we're excited to see the changes you make in the world going forward. Computer Science. Hello, my name is David Lowenthal. I am Professor and Interim Department Head of Computer Science. It is my great pleasure to introduce you to our department. Computer Science melds the elegance of mathematics, the pragmatics of engineering, and the creativity of the arts into a discipline that touches our lives every day. While we are one of the smaller departments in the College of Science, our size does not limit our impact because of our hundreds of fine graduates. Today, we celebrate the graduates from spring, summer, and fall of 2020. Most commencement remarks mention the many obstacles that graduates have overcome to earn their diploma. I believe that has never been more true than in 2020. Today's graduates have overcome the disruption in the way they had to learn in the virtual classroom, not to mention the disruption in their lives. The Department of Computer Science is extremely proud of each of you, and we know that you're capable of making computers do amazing things that will benefit society at large. I am proud and delighted to represent the Department of Computer Science and congratulate our graduates. Thank you.
Ecology and Evolutionary Biology. I'm Michael Warby, head of the Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology. EEB was the first department of its kind in the world, pioneering a model for the organization of biology that's now emulated worldwide. We're home to the undergraduate degrees in biology, bioinformatics, and EEB, as well as our world-renowned graduate program. In EEB, we try to understand the ground rules that govern how living creatures interact with each other and their environments, and how these interactions have sculpted our genes and genomes over billions of years. We then translate these evolutionary insights into real-world solutions, from fighting pandemics, including COVID-19, to predicting how the world will respond to climate change. And our students play a central role in this endeavor. We're proud to have one of the most diverse student populations on campus. In my view, there's never been a more exciting time to understand and harness biological knowledge. Biology is noisy and complex, and that makes you, our graduates, especially well-equipped for navigating today's world. However you build on the foundation of your degree, I hope you'll continue to think for yourself and use your learning to lift those around you. Thanks for trusting us with your education and for enriching our department during your time here. Congratulations.
Geosciences. I wish all our 2020 graduates of the University of Arizona Department of Geosciences my most sincere congratulations. In geosciences, we prepare students to tackle problems related to Earth's physical, chemical, and biological processes and to analyze their geological past to predict the future. During your time in the Department of Geosciences, you had the opportunity to learn from top scientists and teachers in the field, and you have learned an amazing amount of invaluable quantitative skills to address societally relevant problems. In particular, the challenges posed by COVID this last year have made you more resilient. Today, more than ever, geosciences is one of the most important scientific fields preparing students to face societally and economically significant issues such as climate change and the future of natural resources, considering the ever-growing population of 7.8 billion people. The challenges of climate change and the future of natural resources, for example, require well-rounded students like you to tackle issues related to our Earth. We need students like you to educate the public and to come up with solutions. Today, more than ever, you have the responsibility to share your knowledge and educate the public on these important problems. It is a privilege for me to be part of this day in which we congratulate all of you on your success and wish you continued success on your future journeys. Hydrology and Atmospheric Sciences. Thank you. I'm Thomas Meixner, the head of Hydrology and Atmospheric Sciences here at the University of Arizona, where our water resources program is ranked number one in the world. We are in this ranking because we are an interdisciplinary powerhouse whose graduates become the professionals we rely on when we need to solve the problems of water, weather, and climate. These problems range from hazards of extreme events, the challenge of water scarcity, or the impacts of adverse air and water quality on society and the environment. Our lives rely on clean water and a healthy atmosphere. I therefore congratulate the newest generation of atmospheric authorities and hydrologic heroes, the fall 2020 graduates from the Department of Hydrology and Atmospheric Sciences. Lunar Planetary Lab and Planetary Sciences. Hello, I'm Tim Swindle, the head of the Department of Planetary Sciences and the director of the Lunar and Planetary Laboratory. We study the broad discipline of planetary and solar system science, both in our solar system and others, through the use of theoretical studies and data analysis, laboratory and field investigations, numerical modeling, telescopic observations, remote sensing, spacecraft instrumentation, and space mission development and operations. We've just completed the successful sampling of the asteroid Bennu using the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft. We consistently take the best images of the surface of Mars with a high-rise mission. We've discovered about half the asteroids known to mankind we consistently do groundbreaking work on planets around other solar systems. 
But the heart and soul of our department is really the graduate students. They provide the new ideas, they provide the life, and then they graduate and go on and become our toughest and best competitors. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Mathematics. Hello, graduates, families, and friends. I'm Doug Omer, the head of the Department of Mathematics at the University of Arizona. First of all, I'd like to congratulate all the graduates of 2020. You survived and even thrived under extraordinary circumstances, and we're all very proud of each and every one of you. As all of you know, mathematics is the art and science of numbers, shapes, measurement, randomness, and structure. It's the fundamental language of science, engineering, and technology. It's what transforms data into scientific law, observations into predictions, and uncertainties into probabilities. We're happy that every person who graduates today has mastered a lot of mathematics on the path to their degree. As I hope your parents know, a deeper study of mathematics is both fascinating and an excellent career move. The department's degrees prepare students for careers in information technology, logistics, manufacturing, data science, finance, insurance, and education as well as for more advanced study of science engineering and the law and for graduate study and research in mathematics itself. Graduates, we're very proud of you today, both for your academic achievements and for your grit and resilience. You've accomplished a lot already and we're looking forward to seeing all the wonderful things that you will do in the future. Congratulations to the graduates and their families, all the best for the future, and we hope that you will stay in touch. Go Cats and go Math Cats. Molecular and Cellular Biology. Hello, my name is Joyce Schroeder and I'm the Department Head of Molecular and Cellular Biology. I'd like to congratulate all of our 2020 graduates and wish you well as you head off to your next adventure, whether it be continuing your education or entering the workforce. We hope you enjoyed your time with us. We certainly enjoyed our time with you. And we hope you can take your knowledge of how life works at its most basic. From the replication of DNA, the division of cells, to the formation of organisms, both when it works correctly and when things go awry in disease. We hope you can take this information on to your next stage of life and apply it in whatever field you choose to pursue. We believe in you, we congratulate you, and on behalf of all of the faculty and staff of MCB, we wish you luck.
the Neuroscience and Cognitive Science Program. Congratulations, 2020 graduates. I'm Dr. Alan Nacorn, head of the Department of Neuroscience. And it's my great pleasure to introduce the Neuroscience and Cognitive Science undergraduate program. Now, understanding how the brain works is one of the great challenges of our time. That includes everything from understanding how we learn and remember things to understanding how the brain responds to injury in old age. And the idea behind the Neuroscience and Cognitive Science program is that tackling a problem this big is best done with a truly interdisciplinary approach. The program is a collaborative effort between the Department of Neuroscience and the Cognitive Science program. And graduates who have successfully completed this program have mastered both an understanding of the intricacies of how individual brain cells work, as well as an understanding of our latest ideas of how those cells can cause information to be represented and transformed in the brain. And on a personal note, I've gotten the opportunity to teach each and every one of these students, and I never fail to be impressed with their abilities and their potential to go on to do great things. So again, congratulations, 2020 graduates. Physics. Hello everyone, my name is Shumit Mazumdar. I am the department head of physics. I'm here to participate in the college's virtual graduation ceremony to introduce the physics department and to celebrate the graduation of our students. Physics searches for the fundamental rules that govern the universe it's a foundational science, but that need not mean traditional. These days, physicists contribute to the origin of life as well as the origin of the universe, DNA transcription, as well as gravity waves, green energy, as well as superconductivity. We are inspired by interdisciplinary problems while emphasizing fundamentals in solving them. The physics department provides a high quality education that prepares the next generation of physicists for problem solving in industry, academia, and government banks. The physics department challenges nearly 200 undergraduates and 75 graduate students through both scholarship and research. Students play an important and sometimes key role in faculty research. I'm proud to be here today to honor the achievements of our students. Psychology. I'm Lee Ryan, and I'm the head of the psychology department. Everything we do in psychology is relevant to health, 
healthy minds, healthy brains, healthy lives. Our faculty and students are working to find solutions to problems that affect all our lives, depression and anxiety, Down syndrome and autism, Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease, as well as finding ways to overcome stereotyping and cultural bias. Our graduates come away with a library of knowledge and skills that will serve them well in the future, whatever their chosen profession, psychological research, clinical psychology, medicine, education, law, business, social work, and many others. I'm particularly proud to say that psychology is not only the largest undergraduate major in the College of Science, but also the most diverse. More than half our graduating seniors are from underrepresented groups, and many are the first in their family to graduate with a college degree. So congratulations to our newest group of graduates in psychology and from across the College of Science. Bear down.
speech, language, and hearing sciences. Hi, I'm Paige Beeson, head of the Department of Speech, Language, and Hearing Sciences, where we study the basic science and clinical aspects of human communication and communication disorders. Our students learn how we translate thoughts to words and sentences, how we generate meaningful speech sounds that ultimately reach the ears of our listener, and how the acoustic energy converts to neural impulses that our brain can decode. We study the nature and treatment of communication disorders that affect people throughout the lifespan. Our graduate programs are consistently ranked among the best in the nation, where we train the next generation of speech language pathologists, audiologists, and the scientists who support these professions. We have the privilege of working with people to maximize communication abilities, and we take joy and pride in our students who partner with us to experience this blend of science and heart. I wanna congratulate all of our 2020 graduates. Thank you students for your inspiring messages and the appreciation you show for others. We are also very proud of our Fall 2020 Outstanding Seniors. You can see their names listed in the program by department. I now have the pleasure of introducing our overall Outstanding Senior for Fall 2020, Mila Ann Lubick. Mila graduated from St. Stephen's and St. Agnes School in Alexandria, Virginia in 2017. She has worked on an undergraduate thesis project under the mentorship of Dr. Christopher Herrig since 2018 to investigate the projected rate of ice mass loss in solid earth deformation of Greenland. Thus, the focus of her work in climate science is to better understand the impact of global warming. She received a Galileo, she received a Galileo Circle Scholarship in spring 2020, and this fall she graduates with a Bachelor of Science in Geosciences with an emphasis in geophysics and a minor in mathematics. She excelled during her undergraduate career, contributed regularly to community service, and is the Geosciences Fall 2020 Outstanding Senior. Welcome graduating class of Fall 2020. I am honored to be the recipient of the College of Science Outstanding Senior Award. I would like to thank professors, advisors, mentors, and colleagues that saw me through the journey of my undergraduate career and supported me in all my endeavors. Now, I would like to address you, the graduating students. As a fellow College of Science student, I have learned the value of hard work and dedication. We should all be immensely proud of our accomplishments and the joy of being able to officially receive our diploma. Today does not mark an end, but a beginning. The beginning of our careers in higher education for those who are pursuing a master's or doctorate degree. It is prevalent that we uphold integrity, dignity, and persistence throughout our future endeavors. Ensure that we not only pursue endeavors towards the common good for our local communities, the nation, or the global communities, but it is important to do so with passion. I urge you to balance your passion with your careers to have the opportunity to make a stronger impact while obtaining personal growth. In saying this, I assert that whatever you choose, you must do so in excellence as well. On another note, I want to address diversity and inclusion. As a woman of color, particularly one with African-American descent, I witnessed the minuscule representation of women of color in the field of geoscience. This is another source of inspiration for me to pursue a PhD so that I can open doors for other students of color and women to pursue geosciences and research. 
I will strive to support inclusive and diverse communities and research groups around me. Now that you have received your, your degrees, I urge you to create diverse and inclusive communities as you head into the future. Another important subject close to research is climate change. As an undergraduate student, I studied how the ice mass loss of Greenland was related to solid earth deformation and created models to project the future rate of solid earth deformation based on current trends of ice mass change. I look forward to bridging the gap between the earth sciences and the public in relaying climate effects and their importance. Given this, and whatever you choose to do, please keep in mind how you can help bridge the gap between the sciences and the public to generate more change. With that said, congratulations, class of fall 2020. Let's raise our caps as we celebrate this joyous occasion. Congratulations, graduates. I'm always inspired by the great quotes and words of gratitude that our seniors share. Even though we could not shake hands with you as you walk across the stage, I hope that you know how proud we are of your dedication and hard work that has brought you to this momentous day. You are now Wildcats for life. Thank you, Mila, and congratulations to all of our 2020 graduates. I am inspired by your hard work and by the bravery and diligence you showed in getting to this place in the midst of a worldwide pandemic. Your worlds were impossibly upended, and yet you put your heads down, you pushed through the obstacles, and you prevailed. Well done, Wildcats. Be well, be brave, be scientists, and bear down. <laughs> <laughs>